Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Obermott Stock Investing. It was a stressful day today. I had no time recording my video, so I'm sitting now tonight in my garden after dinner and I'm looking at the stocks that I want to buy. And as today, you know, picking the stocks is actually not that, diffi that, e that difficult, that easy today, I wanted to say. I look at, you know, the top tens that we have. It's Ireland and it's Canada. And, um, you know, we want to invest in European stocks I go to the website of Ireland, I, I look top 10 stocks, and I see mostly only large and medium-sized companies in Ireland, except CRH, Construction Materials, um, which has a very bad safety rating of 5, if you see that here. It's not really what I want. Uh, I go to the combined uh, investment strategy, I see the same picture, all large, medium, and small companies. So what do I do? I go back to the top 10 stocks. Since I don't want to invest in Canada, I go to the focus markets. And what, is focus markets? And what I see here is sound incentives, South and Eastern Europe. Sound incentives is actually an interesting group of stocks. It's companies where the incentive structure for management is more or less sound. This isn't the case, in, uh, for instance, in um, uh, in a partner run companies. If a partner runs a company, he has to decide does he want to give the money to the shareholders or does he, does he want to keep the money for himself? And that's actually a very bad incentive structure. Investment banks are an example for that. Now let's have a look what in southern and eastern Germany is available in terms of large companies. I see quite a few large companies. This is also a market where we select mainly large companies. But I don't feel comfortable investing in Poland. Um, Spain is an option, but construction and engineering with a safety rating of one, not really. Uh, electric utilities, I don't already have that. Food retail could be interesting, but also has a very low safety rating. Exor multi-sector holding, what's that? I don't want to have a multi-sector holding. I want to invest in a company, not in a holding company. Steel, we already have steel in our portfolio. I go further down and I see Amadeus, data processing and outsourcing. It has a bad safety rating, but I was interested to see what Amadeus uh, is actually. And it looks like it has good ratings, um, value ratings are good, growth ratings are good, safety ratings are not that good, um, I'm going to look into that in more detail. Um, value I see in terms of profits, in terms of dividend yield, it's all a really good stock, except for price to capital. Now, price to capital could actually, is not that important if you're in services like this company, IT services. Growth metrics are good except the stock returns, which is actually a good sign if the stock returns are low. That's not that bad. I go all the way down, look at safety metrics. Well, they have a bad leverage. Maybe they're over leveraged. Um, I could actually verify that, but they have still good liquidity. And since I think that's an interesting company, I Googled it a little bit. and. You know, here is what I found. Um, I found when I googled news, I found uh, different uh, upgrades and downgrades for Amoteus. Um, I, I looked in this in, into more detail. I found out upgrades are actually quite old. They're a year old. It started with a, a lot of sell, a lot of hold, and then finally with JP Morgan, an overweight rating. I looked further uh, at the more recent uh, News results, I found this. Amadeus delivers strong first quarter results. Um, a very positive announcement. I also went to the website. I wanted to look how this all thing looks. And what they actually do is they provide services in the travel industry. Now, despite all the deglobalization going on right now, I still think that's an interesting story. And a service IT company in Spain actually has a good edge. Uh, good people you know, in Spain, uh, low cost, definitely, and with travel services, a, an interesting business model. So I decided today, um, after my long day of working, why not invest in a travel company? And I did just that today. Okay? Yeah, that was my decision today. I hope you see that even after a hard working day, there's still enough leisure time to make a small stock investment decision for the rest of your life. I wish you good luck with your own stock investing. Bye-bye.